Tade Pogacar destroyed his 2024 Giro d'Italia competition today, winning his sixth stage win here in Bazzano de Grappa, stage 20 on the eve of taking his first Giro d'Italia victory in his debut ride in this Italian Grand Tour. It's been a heck of a ride over three weeks, and in that time, he's won six stages. Today marks his 19th day in the pink jersey. Five of those six stage wins came in the pink jersey, matching Eddie Merckx back in 1973. Tadej Pogacar was the superstar of this year's edition and confirmed that today with the scorcher of a ride over the Monte Grappa climbs twice. The second one was the final climb of this mountainous Grand Tour, leaving about 30 kilometers from the top at 1,600 meters down here to Pisano de Grappa. Tadej Pogacar attacked at 36.1 kilometers out. He caught his last man, Pelizzari, Giulio Pelizzari, at 34.1 kilometers to go, matching his solo victory, 34 kilometers solo in Liege Bastogne Liege, not coming near to what he did in Strade Bianche. Remember that day? I'm sure you do. Strade Bianche, he was solo for 81 kilometers. But it was typical Tadej Pogacar fashion. After he was free and solo, you could tell he was really enjoying the ride gaining up to around two minutes on his GC rivals behind, time he didn't even need because he has this Giro in the bag, barring illness or some sort of crash. And he started to ease off a little bit on the descent. And in those final four flat kilometers, he was waving to the crowds, waving to the camera, and just enjoying every moment. And when he finished here in Bizano de Grappa, just outside of the walled city with the famous wooden bridge and the canal, came to a stop right there by the team officials, surrounded by journalists, there with his fiance, and hugged her, kissed her, celebrated, then lift up his bike, celebrating the victory on that pink Colnago. He was in pink shorts, pink top, pink shoes, pink gloves, pink handlebar tape. Everything was pink today. I checked his hair, blonde hair, no pink hair. But they're celebrating with that Colnago up in the air. Super happy because remember, as I said, in his debut Giro d'Italia ride, first time to win this Italian Grand Tour, twice won the Tour de France 2020 and 2021, and came here on his route to hopefully do, for him, hopefully do the historic Giro Tour double. Hasn't been done since 1998, and he'll start to focus on that tomorrow after he finishes off that last stage in Rome, a flat sprinter stage predicted to go to one of the fast men like Jonathan Milan or Tim Merlier. Now let's break down Tadej Pogacar's ride today and how he rode himself into history in this 2024 edition before we talk about what's in store for Tade tomorrow when we go to Italy's capital. A big transfer from the northeast here in Italy all the way down to the capital of Rome. This stage, 184 kilometers from Alpago to here in Bazzano del Grappa. Pink power, Tade was there on the front of the group when they lined up under clouds rain was coming down as they were getting ready doing the sign in giving us interviews unfortunately damp in the day uh, but later the sun would come out much later after around 50 to uh, 75 kilometers into the stage well after the escape was formed in that escape we had 11 riders and i want to focus on the important ones because it was vendrame stage winner yesterday palayo sanchez stage winner on the gravel stage Yes, of course, in every escape, Andrea Pietrobon and Tonali, Tonelli, excuse, excuse me, from Team Bardiani, he would come and help play for his teammate later on, Giulio Pelizzari. Those two riders would be there with Palaio Sanchez fighting for the last moments on that second ascent of Monte Grappa when Alessandro Tonali would help set up Pelizzari for Pelizzari, the youngest rider in this 2024 Giro d'Italia, hopefully setting him up for a stage win but it wasn't to be because back behind in the GC group, things were heating up and you could tell UAE was out for blood. Tade wanted to get this stage win, wanted to sign off on this Giro d'Italia and say, hey, I'm the superstar. I dominated this race and yes, he certainly did. UAE had Sebastian Molano, their sprinter, also Rui Oliveira working on the flash before the first climb of Monte Grappa. On the climb of Monte Grappa, they had their star riders in there. They had Mikkel Berg, they had Felix Groschartner, they had Domin Novak, and then yes, the final man that you've seen on all the climbs, Rafael Maika, before setting up Tare Pugacar. So there it was, only a struggling Pelizzari up the road. Rafael Maika 
doing the pace, and that pace caused cracks in the GC group. We saw Ben O'Connor, we saw Rensman, we saw eventually Garrett Thomas be dropped from the group, and then we saw the Tade Pogacar attack. 36.1 kilometers to go. That gap of the Pelizzari dropped quickly. They showed 45 seconds, 35 seconds, and then next thing you know, at 34.1 kilometers, the superstar cycling passes the youngest Giro d'Italia rider, goes past him and is on his way to solo to what we all knew would be a Giro d'Italia stage victory, his sixth in this race. Back behind, the groups were split with Danny Martinez sitting second overall with Rubio from Team Movistar and Team Beauty in that white jersey of best young rider knocking on Ben O'Connor's door. Also, Martinez adding in more time to Garrett Thomas, who today is celebrating his birthday, adding in more time to Garrett Thomas, who set third overall. Tibiri, fourth overall. Ben O'Connor, fifth overall. Those three were free. They were picking up Pelizzari, and they were also going over the top, down the descent. But down the descent, they were never gaining much time, always holding 10 seconds to the group behind, and eventually the group would come back together on the finish line. There we had the Tade Pogacar celebrations, the Slovenian superstar up on the podium, popping the cork of the champagne, another stage victory, putting on another pink jersey, his 19th so far in this 2024 edition. Two minutes thereabouts, the GC group comes in. Nothing changes in the GC, except for Filippo Zana losing time and dropping back two positions in the overall classification. If we're looking at the stage results, there it was, two minutes and seven seconds. Valentine Parapenthre, a stage winner in this Giro, coming in in second. Danny Martinez in third, picking up six seconds in bonus to add to his 22 seconds. I think he's now 28 seconds ahead of Garrett Thomas, Antonio Tubiri. Rubiero, Giulio Pelizzari held on sixth in that group, all there. And then Michael Storer a little bit further back in 231. If you're looking at the GC now, what happens? As I mentioned, there was a change between second and third. Tade Pogacar, nine minutes and 56 seconds over Danny Martinez in second place, the Colombian. Then Garrett Thomas, the Welshman, 1024 back. 12.07 for Ben O'Connor, who held on to fourth place. Antonio Tiberi, 12.49. We saw him emotional there afterwards, hugging his parents, celebrating behind the podium. And then Tymon Arensman at 14.31. Two Ineos Grenadier riders in the top 10 positions. Sixth place, he sits. Ainara Rubiero, seventh overall. Jan Hurt moving up two spots. Roman Bardet dropping back two spots. Michael Storr moving up two spots. And as I mentioned, Filippo Zana dropping from ninth overall to 11th overall in this 2024 Giro d'Italia. Tonight, we're all transferring down to Rome. Tade is on the Super UAE team jet, flying down there. Some others are flying down there as well. Some are in trains, some are in cars. I'm doing the drive all the way down there tomorrow in my car. And tomorrow, we're gonna see the gladiators bash handlebars, bump shoulders. The sprinters trying to determine who's the best sprinter in this race. Is it Jonathan Milan and the Magda Ciclamino? Is it Tim Merlier? Or will we see a sprint win from Caden Groves or perhaps Caleb Ewan? Tune in tomorrow for that. But for sure, we'll see the Giro d'Italia king crowned. And that's the Slovenian superstar Tade Pogacar, 2024. Now, 19 days in the pink jersey. Tomorrow, it'll make 20. And tomorrow, it'll make the champion of this race, the champion of the 2024 Giro d'Italia.